Alrighty guys, so we just made it out to our spot. It's time to rig up these baits. We're gonna kayak them about four to 600 yards off this beach and wait for that monster shark we've been looking for. So I'm gonna take you through the rigging tactic that we use for these nice uh, mid-sized bonita here to hook our big fish. So basically, we take this circle hook. What size is this, a 20? 20 aught. Yep, 20 aught circle. And I run it through here, This. Uh, the opening of their gills, pull my leader through, and then you can go back down through this soft, uh, this soft gill plate here, and check this out. You pull that circle through just like so, and now when you pull on your slack, just like so, that hook is in there. It's nice and disguised and ready for a big fish to come by and uh, and take a chunk out of it. Now, this fish is super bloody fish, Bonita, but just to really entice those sharks and get them going, what we like to do is butterfly them out. So we'll start here and basically fillet till I hit the midsection, that little bone that runs. And I'll just do a nice little butterfly right here. And this will really just get some of those nice juices flowing once I drop it and really encourage those fish to come and eat fast look at that just like that and now this bait is 100 rigged and ready to get dropped let's get it when we out here looking for monsters big baits big fish baby that bait that boy right there is gonna turn into a beast So as you can see, Lance is kayaking them baits out. He's going about four to 500 yards off this beach front. We've got big heavy reels with tons of drag. We've got monster hooks. We've got big baits. And now we're looking for that big shark. Ready to eat. Are you ready, bro? Got the slow run, dude. That's a big chunk of meat. That's a big fish. I know. He's slow rolling. Could be big, bro. They don't look like a sandbar. Ready? Ready. Big. Woo! He's big, bro. Dang it. Yeah, boy. Ooh, that's dirty. He's he's got he's got some size to him for sure, man. Oh, uh, hooked up on a monster. Definitely woke us up. It's about 3 a.m. And this is the first fish that we're gonna land of the trip. We're excited to see what it is. He definitely feels heavy. He didn't do any crazy drag pulling, but uh, man, look at that. Look at that rock. That's man. a gorgeous sign, baby. That's a gorgeous sign. We're getting close. Bro, it's a tiger! It's a tiger! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Oh! Yeah, boy! Beautiful tiger, baby! Woo! Game time!
Hey, brother. Yes, it's time. Another monster! Yay! Game time today! <laughs> so this is super slow rolled and it's got a nice tiger on the on the beach. And uh, this guy was slow rolling just like the first two. Right when I set hook, he felt real, real heavy, like definitely massive fish, and then has been swimming towards me ever since. So there's really no telling what this fish is. Right now we're thinking, man, it could be big, it could be small. Look at this, look at this rod. Ooh! Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely got a fish on. There's just no telling how big he is. Oh, we hooked that! Holy! Tiger number two, baby! Tiger number two! Oh, oh he did the table! He did the table! Fish, bro. Oh, look at that fish. We got condor releasers. We love these species. We love keeping them healthy. Let's go ahead and let it grow. Out to the darkness, baby! guys we're going to go over all of our rigging techniques that we use to catch these big sharks uh, first you're going to need a good cutting tool whether it be a knife a pair of clines you're going to need a spider weight two zip ties your steel cable and your shark hook first off we use a 20 yacht circle hook uh, we use non-stainless steel, 25 foot of 7x7 seven seven coated wire. Uh, we like to use galvanized. The swivel, we like to use minimum 500 pound. Uh, this is a 600 pound croc swivel. So, when we rig this spider weight to hold our bait down, what we do is, Get a zip tie. Run the zip tie straight through the eye, straight through the bottom eye of your swivel. Run that through. You're gonna cinch it up just like that. Second zip tie. You're gonna get your main steel cable, run it around one of the legs. Essentially what that's going to do is whenever you tighten up It's going to drag. It's going to drag that spider weight straight down It's going to hold your cable down into the sand just like that Use your cutting utensil Cut off just the tag ends That there is what we use to catch these big sharks. So that concludes our epic saltwater shark fishing adventure. Thanks guys so much for watching. And be sure to hit that subscribe button below 
for some more fishing videos coming your way soon. And it's a monster, baby!